Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we are going to be immediately investigating our second Zoan fruit for the encyclopedia, the Hito Hito no Mi. The Hito Hito no Mi is a Zoan type fruit that allows its user to transform into a human. Yes, you heard right, a human. It was eaten by our most adorable series protagonist, Tony Tony Chopper, and it made its debut during the Drum Island arc. The Hito Hito no Mi derives its name directly from the Japanese word for person, although it can be synonymously used as the word for human as well. As a result, we have yet another agreed upon translation by all major English sources, which have dubbed it the human human fruit. So this is a pretty unique fruit to discuss because it is the first entry into the encyclopedia where we have no evidence whatsoever on how exactly it would affect a human who ate it. However, before we get into that, let's examine the effects that the Hito Hito no Mi has on a being that was not originally human. A non-human user of this fruit gains the ability to transform into a human as well as a human beast hybrid. Although rather interestingly, unlike Zoan fruits eaten by humans, the Hito Hito no Mi does not seem to provide its user with a full transformation into human form. And the user will retain elements elements of their animalistic self, like for example remaining covered in a layer of fur. However, the biggest benefit granted to a non-humanoid creature is that they gain a human level of sentience, allowing them to communicate in human languages as well as grasp higher concepts of thought in regards to life, the universe, and everything. However, the user of the Hito Hito no Mi also retains their previous animal knowledge and instincts and is capable of communicating with most types of creatures in the world, at the very least in the One Piece world anyway. Now let's address the tricky part. What if a human ate the Hito Hito no Mi? Well, first and foremost, I need to dispel the generally accepted idea that a human would gain enlightenment should they consume the fruit. This is blatant misinformation, which I've already made a whole video on, of which there is a link in the description and I encourage you to check it out because I'm not going to go into all of the details here. But essentially, the whole idea of enlightenment comes from an SBS question in volume 20 of the manga, where a reader asks Oda what happens if a human eats the Hito Hito no Mi. And basically, Oda provides a joke answer about potentially finding yourself, then retracts it, and as literally as one can do on a piece of paper, he runs away, refusing to answer the question. And in the video, I go over a couple of different translations, and the word enlightenment is never actually used. If you're curious about exactly what was said, then please do go on to watch the video, but for the moment, we're going to accept it as fact and move on with our lives. Unfortunately, this does leave us in a rather difficult position, because we end up with a grand total of zero units of information, leaving us with only pure speculation. It has been suggested that a human user of the fruit would also gain access to a series of transformations, but you have to ask yourself, exactly what are they transforming into? Generally, a Zoan type fruit has a pure human form, the pure beast form, and the human beast hybrid form. And that works well enough with someone like Chopper, but if someone like, say, Joe Boring ate the Hito Hito no Mi, then his transformations would be pure human form, pure beast form, human beast hybrid form. There's nothing for Joe Boring to work with, because the primary advantages of a Zoan fruit consist of mixing the DNA of two different species. Mixing your DNA with a human simply results in another human, something where we're well aware of through our reproductive system. In the best case scenario, let's say that Zoan type devil fruits transform the user into the best possible form of that animal. So for humanity, that would more than likely be what we refer to as an Adonis, essentially a perfectly sculpted human being and the mortal lover of the goddess Aphrodite in Greek mythology. Now, if this were to be the case, then the fruit would have some decent use because it may provide you with the power to transform into that perfect human. And the sort of thing I'm picturing here is very similar to All Might's true form versus his superhero facade. Just without the incredible power granted by his quirk, because, well, we're talking about a regular old human after all. So you could, in theory, be granted an impeccable vessel of humanity, as well as a pure beast form, which would be your original human self, and a human beast hybrid, which would be, I suppose, a semi-impeccable fusion. But that really is the best case scenario. I mean, there are other people out there who have tried to post theories that it may allow a human to transform into other humanoid beings, like, say, a giant, but I just don't see that happening given what we know about the world of One Piece. Giants, mermen, and all the other crazy cool humanoid life appeared to be a completely different species rather than a different race. So I believe it would be far more likely that there would be another devil fruit out there specifically catered to giants like the Hito Hito no Mi model giant or something. And with that in mind, I can only conclude that the best possible candidate for the Hito Hito no Mi is a non-humanoid creature. And to examine that a bit further, let's discuss how Chopper has made use of the fruit. This may be a controversial opinion, but I believe that Chopper is one of, if not the best user of a devil fruit in the series. And this is entirely based on how he has managed to innovate and push his power far beyond the limits of 
any other Zoan type user we've seen. I mean, sure, other Zoan fruits are naturally stronger, as are the people that use them, but they don't have the sheer diversity that Chopper has worked so hard to discover. As a doctor, Chopper began using his medical knowledge to develop a drug known as Rumble Balls that augment his Devil Fruit powers, giving him access to a whole host of extra transformations, very specifically combining reindeer and human DNA to achieve the maximum result possible from any particular attribute. For example, in Chopper's arm point, the form is entirely focused on enhancing his arms to the most powerful possible incarnation, and he has a whole ton of these different forms, each geared towards a certain situation or goal, all of which spawned from the combination of a teeny tiny reindeer and a regular old squishy human. So you can attempt to make the argument that someone like Rob Lucci, Marco, or Jack are much better users because of their strength, but not a single one of them has pushed the potential of their fruit to the sheer limits that Chopper has. And this is before we even get into the whole concept of awakening. Now we need to preface this with the statement that as of the recording of this video, it has never specifically been stated that Chopper is an awakened Zoan user. But at the same time, come on. Monster Point is for sure an awakening. This form looks exactly like the other awakened Zoan users we've seen in the series, but it is missing two key features. Those being the ability to remain in that form for an extended to permanent amount of time, as well as the super quick recovery granted by a Zoan awakening. So it's entirely possible that Chopper is only a partially awakened Zoan user, but still pretty damn impressive for a 17 year old reindeer who hasn't even been human his whole life. And just the last thing on the awakening, if a human user of the Hito Hitonomi were to awaken their fruit, then they may become something giant like, just because of the nature of awakened Zoans granting their user a much physically larger body. Some other miscellaneous things to consider when becoming a human, human. It's a horrible idea and I highly suggest not doing it. Which brings us nicely to our conclusion. This devil fruit is the only one in the entire series where I have absolutely no idea what would happen to me if I ate it. In the best case scenario, I become a slightly better human. In the worst case scenario, I eat a horrible tasting fruit and lose the ability to swim for my efforts. It's not an appealing deal at all and by far the worst devil fruit in the entire series for human consumption. However, if you were to have some other life form eat it or even insert it into an object Vegapunk style, then this fruit could be pretty damn powerful, if only for the sentience gained from its consumption. But if you're watching this video right now, I'm guessing you don't fall into the category of needing that sort of sentience. And with that, we are going to commit the Hito Hito no Mi to the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia. Next week, we'll be returning to the realm of Paramecia in order to examine the very curious Mane Mane no Mi. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line View Patreon, because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also, I've recently launched a Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items, with proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun, then please do head over to my Discord server, where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on the Hito Hito no Mi. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.